Philip Mickenbecker is stopping by to pick up a few bread rolls at the bakery. Hello. Hello. Yeah, super, thank you. The homemade flying bathtub is just one of about 20 wacky inventions by the YouTube twins who call themselves the real life guys. This time, 22-year-old Philip and Johannes Mickenbecker want to pit a children's pedal cart against a compact car. First, they mount a motor onto the cart. As always, it's all do-it-yourself. We've never had any training along these lines. We've taught ourselves everything we know from YouTube tutorials or Googled it. Our father helped out a bit at first, converting bicycles and stuff. Their workshop is actually their parents' garage near Frankfurt. To fix the pedal cart so it can carry the weight of an adult, the brothers weld in an extra steel frame. The motor is battery powered. The problem was that an immense amount of current flows through here, so the controller exploded on us. It took us ages to find a motor and controller that are actually made for that much current. I just hope it doesn't go out on us again when we test it. The twins began posting their DIY inventor videos on YouTube in 2016. Now they have the support of sponsors for most of their projects. Ideally, the real life guys would like to motivate others to get active. Nowadays, many people just sit in front of their computers and never do anything outside. I think doing something yourself away from the computer is still a thousand times better than experiencing it virtually. Their YouTube channel now has over 940,000 subscribers, enough for both of them to make a living from it. They've even quit their engineering studies. They prefer the practical side of things. Designing and building a motorized 360-degree rocking chair, for instance. We took it to a skate park once and rode it down the ramps. That was pretty spectacular. We really almost got sick doing that. This contraption also raised quite a few eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, this, this is our submarine. It's the best known invention, but also the most dangerous thing we've ever built. Here's a hole where lots of water comes in. I try to hold it shut, but it doesn't help. That was close. Sometimes we do dangerous things, but we always try to assess what's too risky and what we can try. Here we had a diver along, an oxygen tank inside, and a cable hooked on behind, so it was pretty well secured. On to the next challenge. The pedal cart is now fitted with a 20 horsepower motor and ready to go. Johannes will be racing his brother Philip, who will be driving a 90 horsepower compact car. We're on this newly built road to race against a Fabia. I'm really excited, but I think I'll make it. The acceleration on this is really sweet, but the top speed not so much. We have to get off to a good start. Friends often help out. They stack up a wall of boxes at the finish line 200 meters down the road. On your mark, get set, go! Wow! Congratulations! <laughs> How was it? What do you think? I never believed it would accelerate so fast. It was very close. The acceleration is fantastic, but I couldn't keep up the final speed for long. At first, it takes off, but at the end, I realized how much faster I was going. It was close. We ought to make it more powerful. Yeah. These twin inventors aren't worried about running out of ideas. Their next plan? A flying car. <laughs> <laughs>